hold it and we're going to do full mouth extractions using the physics forceps the entire maxillary dentition that is badly decayed and the mandibular dentition and then at the end of the procedure we're going to go ahead and place two dental implants in the symphysis region in the cuspid region um, to support eventually an overdenture so to begin let's show you what we have to work with thank you and you can see we have a lot of broken down teeth we do have some fully erupted mandibular teeth that we will also extract the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, um, a burr on a high speed and I'm going to flatten the palatal surface of each of the roots this allows me to have a purchase point for the physics force up which I will show you right now there are several uh, designs of the physics force ups we have a maxillary anterior design a maxillary right and a maxillary left design we also have a universal mandibular physics force up for third molar extractions they also have another set of third molar physics forceps but we probably won't use those today we can demonstrate that at a future time but you can see the forcep has a um, metal end that's squared off and so that's why I want to take a burr and just kind of flatten the, the palatal surface of each of the roots so that we develop a purchase point we have a bumper that will fit onto the facial bone as far apical into the vestibule as possible and we'll demonstrate how this works and how simple the procedures can be so let's go ahead and take our high speed and flatten the palatal surface of each of the roots go ahead and suction and I'm going to start, you can open real big for me. And I'm going about four or five millimeters, six millimeters subgingival. Here's a root that doesn't have a lot of coronal portion to it. And just simply creating a little purchase point, very simply on each of these. So, for demonstration, let's start with the anterior teeth. Let's start with the anterior tooth for demonstration. So we're going to take the flattened portion of the physics forcep and place it as far subgingival on the palate as possible. And we'll start with this lateral just for uh, demonstration purposes. And try to put the bumper as far lingual as possible and you can have a little purchase point with your finger here and what I'm doing is simply rotating my wrist I am not putting a lot of pressure on the forcep it's not like a typical forcep and you're going to feel as I'm just rotating my wrist rotating my wrist towards the patient's eye almost and it may take a full minute which seems like a long time for us dentists chin up for me a little bit thank you and just kind of hold it there Slowly, slowly, slowly.
and it just kind of broke there. You can see it move a little bit, and it just kind of snapped. We can't rush into these extractions. We're not using physical strength. We're using leverage. Fantastic. And you can see we have the tooth taken out. Very long lateral incisor, but we've maintained the buccal plate intact. Now this is very, very important if we consider dental implants. Um, our extractions need to be atraumatic and we need to maintain that facial bone as much as possible. So one down, let's keep moving forward.